smiley this morning? Yeah, yeah, pretty happy. You know, it's obviously very happy to get the news and obviously, you know, excited about the week ahead. When did you get the news? Uh, I probably knew 100% after the game on the weekend. I was talking to Robbo and he'd been talking to Laurie and told me he knew that I was there 100%. So that's, that's when I knew, you know, for sure. Yeah, it's it's a massive massive goal, I suppose, and I think every kid in you know New South Wales and Queensland grows up, you know, watching State of Origin and you know wanting to be a part of it one day. And you know, I suppose there's a lot of people who never get here, so to have the opportunity, you know, I'm I'm pretty grateful and very excited. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to to the week ahead, and you know, can't wait for next Wednesday. Last year, James, you were talked about and sort of dropped off the radar towards the end. There was that disappointing. Good yeah. reward this time around? Yeah, mate, I, I think last year probably my own form contributed to that. You know, I put myself in a position, you know, to be in the frame and sort of let that slide. So, you know, it was nice nice to um, go through the similar time period this year with all the talk around again and, and continue to perform. And, you know, I think a lot of that comes down to, to the teammates that I've been playing with. They're, they're obviously helping me you know, to look good and our forward pack lay in a platform and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, a lot of thanks go to them. Laurie said it'd be kind of why you got the knock. Yeah. Been a calming influence on Mitchell. Did you hear those comments? What did you make? What do you make of that? Yeah, look, uh, you know, I suppose you know our our combination relationship's been you know pretty well. We've we've um, settled in pretty quickly there at the Roosters, and I think Piercy's doing a bit of Bikram yoga, so. I think that might be helping. I might be getting a bit of the credit. So, has he had a big influence on your game? Oh, look, it's you know he's been a lot of help for sure. You know, I, I think I've said it before that you know when, when I was signing, he, he was a big part of, of why I went to the Roosters, and you know I always always liked the style of player he was, and you know I I, I thought we'd we'd play well together, and you know it, it has clicked, and ever since I got back, everything's just fallen into place, and. Like I said, it's ended here and it's a dream come true. How old were you the last time you was that, eight years, <laughs> seven years ago? What's that, 1920? Do you have any you know, insight as to how they can end the hoodoo? Nah, look, I, I think, you know, the guys that were there last year weren't far off. And I, I think, I suppose, at state of origin level, it's never, there's never a whole lot in it. You know, I suppose the way I'm looking at it is that to go in, you know, if, if we all perform well, you know, we've, we've got the calibre of players here. No doubt it's a tough assignment and Queensland are a pretty unreal side, but, you know, we'll have to go in with some confidence and, and then we can do the job. James, there's, there's a start that you said well, I haven't won an Origin without, with a debut 5-8. Is that a daunting prospect for you coming in? Yeah, oh, mate, I, I suppose records are there to be broken, so it'd be, it'd be nice if we could change it on Wednesday night, but... At the end of the day, I think going in the state of origin arena, you you got a short time period to to prove that that's where you belong and you can play at that level. And I suppose you know that's the way I need to prove right from the get go that that I belong here and and that you know I can do the job. And hopefully that occurs on Wednesday. What kind of role is your family play in you getting here? Yeah, look, they've been really big. You know, I think if it wasn't. For Jess and me two kids, you know, I, I think off the field they, they've settled me down a lot. You know, I'm probably still running around being a rap bag if, if not. So it's, I think, you know, when I'm happy off the field, I, you know, it, it translates on the field. And I think, you know, definitely a lot of credit goes to them. Do you have a bit to say on the field to your old Melbourne teammates, Billy and Cooper? Oh, mate, no. I think it'll just, just be knuckling down and, and concentrating on my job, you know. At the end of the day, it's... You know, something I've got to I've got to remain focused for 80 minutes so I can do the job that I need to do, and you know, that'll be my first focus. Are you rooming with Mitchell this week? Yeah, know? rooming with Mitch, so that'll be nice. We room together all the time, so it'll be yeah, it'll be nice to have that familiar face there. His turn to be a calming influence. Yeah, exactly right. So no, it, it'll be good, mate, having him there, and he's been here and done it many times before. So you know, to get a bit of uh, experience from him would be nice. Obviously, Laurie's got a lot of experience in five eight. Yeah, mate, I think you'd be silly not to, you know, and obviously Trent Barrett being in camp as well, you know, their they're two blokes had a bit to do with Baz in country camp and obviously Laurie, you know, blokes that have played in the same position at, 
at this level and succeeded. You know, it, it's obviously nice to um, have a have a shoulder to to lean to and you know talk to and, and get some advice. Now, in terms of the aspects of your game, you bring goal kicking. Um, what else do you think uh, you bring to the Blues side? Oh, I think you know. I think defensively on Wednesday night that'll be my first focus. You know, I think. That's an area I've improved a lot this year, and, and with the Roosters and, and with Trent. So, um, you know, that that'll be my first goal. I think if I can get my defence right and, and not let anything through, and and you know, create the odd opportunity here and there, then I would have done my job. James, just going back to your family, how, how did your mum react when you when you broke the news? Yeah, she she got a bit teary actually. Yeah, she she was pretty proud. It was obviously a pretty proud moment, and like I said, every every kid sort of dreams of getting there and. I suppose for a mum to see her son get there and, you know, I suppose it's been a long journey for myself, you know, 26 now, so no spring chicken and, you know, I, I suppose, it, yeah, she, she's just stoked for me, so it, it's, it was nice to talk to her and tell her the good news.